What's going on, retro gamers and lovers? Monster Monster here, and I'm back with another fantastic episode of Monster's Retro Arcade. Today we're doing our daily one credit challenge. You know how it goes. One credit, one game, and endless fun. But before we dive into today's challenge, let me tell you a bit about the game we'll be playing today. We're going to be taking on the classic arcade shooter called Dale. Released in 1993 by Athena and published by American Sammy, this game is a true gem for the golden era of arcade gaming. Dial falls into the shooter genre, offering intense vertical scrolling action. It's also a two-player cooperative game, so grab a friend if you can. As for the community rating, it's a solid 3.91 out of 5. Dio, which also means Great King, in Japanese, is a vertical, multi-layered, scrolling space shooter. Prepare yourself for countless waves of unique enemies, epic boss battles, and non-stop action. You'll have a variety of weapons at your disposal, such as the Ion Shot, Laser Shot, Missile Shot, Fire Bomb, Mega Beam, and Atomic Bomb. If you're playing the US version, you'll enjoy the convenience of a six-button support for all three shot types and their respective bomb types. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here's a strategy to help you conquer dial. I recommend mastering different weapons and understanding their strengths. Knowing when to switch between them will be crucial. Dodging enemy fire and learning attack patterns is key to survival. And don't forget to pick up power-ups along the way. Team up with a buddy for a co-op experience. And remember, communication is key in these intense battles. All right, folks. Let's take it back to 1993. And get ready for an intense space shooter action and tons of epic weapons. There's only one thing left to do now. Start the challenge. Here we go. Here's my one credit. I never liked these shooters, these aerial shooters and stuff like that, as I've mentioned before, but I don't know. There's something about power ups. Okay. Holy cow. I kind of got myself stuck up there. Just testing all the buttons. Yeah. There's too many. Wow. Okay, I get it now. No, I don't. Wow. Gotta say, that's a, it's an intense game. It's an intense game. That was fun. It'd be interesting. Maybe doing a long play since it is continuous. Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a long play of this game. Well, after all that, I had fun. Hope you did too. Thanks for joining me today on Launcher's Retro Arcade. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss an episode. And as always, comment below with your thoughts, game suggestions, or just to say hi. Before I go, I want to take a quick shout out to my other channel, Launcher's Pop Up Session. It's all about the world of Funko Pops, especially music theme ones. Be sure to check it out. All right, it's time to wrap it up. Goodbye for now. I'll see you all right back here tomorrow for another exciting retro arcade adventure. Keep gaming, my friends. Take care.